I'm from Northern California. My dad was a outrider up there for 40 years and he always had a couple of his own racehorses that he trained on the side and I just remember going to the track every morning before school. My first job was raking hot walking rings and cleaning bridles. Like I'd go around barn to barn and exercise riders would pay me five, ten dollars to clean bridles for them. It's in my blood. It's all I've ever wanted to do is be a racehorse trainer. I originally came to Southern California with the trainer um, and I was his assistant and galloping for him. And when he went back up north, I seen how great this place was and I said, I can't go back up there. It's, I'm gonna try and make it here. And I mean, I walked around for two weeks looking for a job and nobody wanted to hire me. Everybody said I was too big to gallop. Finally, I was gonna give up and go home back to Northern California. And there was two people I haven't asked yet. One was Richard and one was Bob Bafford. So I said, you know what, before I leave, might as well go give it a shot. When I came here, Richard asked me if I could ride bad colts. I said, I can ride anything you got, and just started from there. I've got the pleasure of being around some nice ones in this barn. Omaha Beach is definitely the star of the show. It's hard to explain the way he felt underneath you. He was so strong, so smooth, united. Won quite a few stakes, and we got to run him in the Breeders' Cup a couple times. I'm in a good spot now with Richard, and I'm learning something new every day. Those horses will teach you what they like, what they don't like. It's a challenge. We got Sub Sanador from John Sadler, and he's been very good for us so far. He wasn't very big, but he had a presence about him that you know, he stood out a little bit. We already knew he was a good horse coming in. We won the race in Monmouth. As of late, he won the inaugural California Crown. In the gate, and there now he broke the good, broke on top, and by Sir Davis, American whiskey. Mike was thinking was to go, but beginning. National uh, Treasure is obviously is pretty fast, so he just let that horse go, and Mike does such a good job just getting him to relax. And really, that horse doesn't mind dirt hitting him in the face at all. If anything, he likes it, gets him fired up. But he never lets him get too far out of it, you know. He just keeps him up there and keeps him in a good position to do something. Here, I'm thinking, I don't know. But he's got a lot of fight. He kind of puts his head up when he touches him with the whip, so he puts it away and just starts hand riding him. an absolute thriller. Sub Senator in between horses. Here's the line. Sub Senator. That's all heart right there. My hands are sore from high fiving each other after the race. The Breeders' Cup is its our Olympics. It's the end goal. As long as he just keeps improving the way he's doing right now, I think we'll have a pretty good shot at either, whether he runs in the mile or the classic. We used to watch the great horses on TV when I was a kid. And never did I ever think that I would get to be around him, let alone, you know, ride a horse like Omaha Beach or get to work with a horse like Subsanador every day. It's, it's a, it is a dream come true.